I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. Well, it's another day's journey. We're glad about it. I'm so glad to be alive at this point of our lives. In the midst of the, all, we still all are counted all joy. I want to be thankful. We are thankful so much of what God is yet doing. God is still in the blessed business, White Oak Grove, Facebook, YouTube. Listen, listen, there's a word for us on today. Even in this season, we ought to still pray, praise the Lord. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. You know what? I made my mind up. I choose to rejoice and be glad in it. I got to be glad. I got to praise him anyhow. I got to anyhow praise. Is there anybody out there got to anyhow praise? Listen, you've been going through. You say, listen, I don't know what else to do. But I tell you today what you're going to do, what you're going to need to do in this season. Yet give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praise. Why don't roll with blood? We're asking all of you continue to pray. You pray for us. I mean, Lady Bailey and our family, we're doing well. We pray that you're doing well. We're yet praying for our church family members, White Oak. Uh, we, have, we have some members that have some sickness in there, and even death, and, but we know God is still in control. So we yet pray for all of you, and we love you. And thank you so much for loving us back. Listen, there's the word in the, in the word on today, Luke chapter number 17, and I want to look at verse 15. And it says, in one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back, and with a loud voice, he glorified God. It says, and one of them, Lord, little Lord, that when he was healed, he turned back, and he began to glorify God. In verse number 16, and he fell down on his face, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaria. And Jesus after said unto him, were there not ten cleans, but where are the nine? Look, I want you to know in the midst of it all, you ought to still give thanks. During this Thanksgiving season, we ought to still give thanks. There's a word right here. You ought to still give thanks. I want you to know, listen, Jesus healed these ten lepers. But listen, in verse 15, there was one of them. He had an obsession. He said, listen, I've got to go back to it. i got to tell the Lord, thank you for what he's already done for me. There are so many people forget to say thank you. You know, in early in age, all of us, when our parents would buy us stuff, they taught us early, you ought to learn to say thank you. When somebody's been good to you, when somebody have done something special for you, learn to say thank you even at an early age. But there's so many people that forget to say thank you. So many people will walk away with their nose in the air, all stuck up like, listen, oh, you deserve to give me this. You deserve, I deserve to get this. I deserve to get that. But so many need to understand this, my brothers and my sisters, that listen, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, oh, we don't deserve the things, the blessings of God that we've got. Oh, listen, look, and even in COVID-19, so many have lost their life. But look, you still here. You still got your breath. You still got your strength. And while we got the breath, we ought to give him glory. We ought to say, Lord, I thank you. Listen, in one only, we should not only be thanking him in troubled time, but we should be thankful for all what the Lord has done for us. The Lord done done so much for us, White Oak Grove. The Lord done done so much for many for us on Facebook land. He's still blessing us. He's still in the midst of how wicked, how sinful our nation is. He's still doing things for us. Oh, children of God, we're born to say thank you. Oh, there's an assurance of our faith. We must have an assurance of our faith. Number one, you got to know that your faith is still working. Ohio, Pastor Bailey, is my faith still working? It looks like I'm going through. It looks like I'm about to throw in the towel. It looks like my job is losing. It looks like I, my wealth is losing. But in the midst of it all, count it all short. And sometimes, you know what? When nobody else is encouraging you, learn to encourage yourself. Learn to tell yourself that I'm going to make it in spite of it all. Learn to tell yourself I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed going out. My body's already healed. You ought to know that you're healed. You ought to know that you're healed. Oh, brother and sister, Jesus teaches us that obedience. We must have obedience. He tells these, these, these disciples before he was teaching, before he got ready to go in Luke chapter number 17 and see these 10 lepers. Oh, Jesus, tell them about obedience. He lets us know that God 
It's not something extra that is God is doing for us. Oh, we ought to give thanks to God oh, all the time. We ought to praise him every morning, every time at night. Lord, I thank you for letting me get through the day. Lord, I thank you for letting me get through the night. Lord, I thank you in the morning. You ought to wake up and tell him thank you. No hurt, harm, or danger came before, him, before me. See, we got to go back to the basic saints. Oh, I believe the old saints, they would get up in the morning. I woke up early this morning with my mind staying on the Lord. You got to keep your mind on it. In this season, look like people mind, look like even in the church house, look, look, look like people mind is began to fall away from God. But keep your mind on him. If you keep your mind focused on the world, oh, worldly things will come in your mind. But if you keep your mind stayed on him, how many of you know that thing when praises go up, the blessings, Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, the blessings come down. Jesus is teaching. He said he asked them that we need to increase our faith. I don't know who this word is for right now. Increase your faith. Increase your faith. Listen, you got to trust God when you can't even trace it. You can't even see your way. Huh? You can't even see how you're going to make it. You can't even see how you're going to get through this, how you're going to get through that. But can I ask somebody... Are you going to trust him in this season? We're almost at the 12th month. Almost right now at the 12th month. They already say, look like another second wave is coming. Look like this is coming. But I tell you, listen, I want something greater and getting ready to go in 2021. Oh, even before this year, 2020 end, listen, God can do miracle things. God is a miracle worker. Just like this disease, this disease, leprosy. I would compare it like just that, as the coronavirus. Listen to these people, these one that had leprosy. Leprosy was a death sentence. Leprosy, these 10 that have leprosy. When people would see those that had leprosy, oh, they had to be moved from the outskirts of their community. Just like the day of the coronavirus. When you got the coronavirus, you got to shut in. When you come positive, you got to shut in 14 days. You got to shut in and be quarantined. That was a death sentence even in that day and time of leprosy. Leprosy still evolved in some of the countries uh, around the world. But when people would have leprosy, the pigmentation of their skin would begin to change color. When they had leprosy, they had to be all leper, had to stay together in colonies of their own. Oh, but this day, you know what happened? Jesus, they heard that Jesus was passing by. See, you got to know the miracle worker. You got to know that I'm going to let you know that if you know who the miracle worker is, I mean, you know that, listen, when you know who the miracle worker is, God can bless you anyhow. Oh, when Jesus got ready to pass by, when Jesus got ready to pass by, he looked at these lepers and listen, and they said, listen, we got to say something to get his attention. And you know what they got together? They said, what well, we going to say, Lord, have mercy. Oh, brothers and sisters, how many of you know when they said, Lord, have mercy? on us. Oh, Jesus heard and had compassion on them. And oh, when they got ready, he let them know that their healing is in place. And when they got ready to go, listen, chains begin to change. Oh, fingers begin to come back. Hands begin to look new. Feet begin to look new. But they went on their way, went on their business, as I paraphrase. But that was one of them looked in their mind and their mind began to say, and they were going away. He said, wait a minute. I've got to go back. I've got to tell this man, thank you. <laughs> Who is this? Somebody needs to know you got to tell the Lord, thank you. Everybody else can do their own thing. But can you go back and tell God, thank you? Oh, that's shouting news this morning. Somebody ought to run. You listen. You ought to run through the kitchen and say, Lord, thank you. You ought to run through the bedroom and say, Lord, I got to praise you. If nobody else in the United States praise you, I'm going to lift you up. If nobody else on my job praise you, if nobody else in my family praise you, I'm going to lift you up. Because you are worthy to be prayed. Somebody say worthy. Somebody know he's been good to you. Somebody say he's been better to me than I've been to myself. So I'm getting ready to encourage somebody. You got to be like that one leper. Say, listen, I'm not going to stop uh, until the Lord bless me. I got to go back and tell him, uh, you've been too good to me, Jesus. Uh, listen, I know, listen, in January, we said, listen, uh, we got new 
sight, new vision. Uh, it's 2020. We were all excited. Uh, but then uh, in March, uh, all hell began to break loose. Uh, and it looked like we were going to throw in the towel. We say things might get better in April, might get better in May, but it looked like it still didn't get better. But I came to tell somebody, in the midst of it all, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to be glad. I'm going to give him praise. And this Thanksgiving, I'm going to have my meal and say, thank you, Jesus, for it's another thankful day of be praised. Not just because it's Thanksgiving, because, listen, the Lord been good to us. So a little word of encouragement to you. Give him thanks in the midst of it all. Oh, just like these lepers, sickness in their bodies. Listen, they had to escape, escape themselves into their community. They couldn't even be with their families. But they had to, listen, come together as one. God telling you, you and your little family, it might be not the crowd that you usually expect, but you and your little family get together and, and have a word of prayer. A family that prays together stays together. Family that prays together stays together. I want to encourage somebody, listen, some bereaved family, listen, you had tears, you've been crying. Sister Nancy David, the Davis family praying for you all. Pharaoh family, we're praying for you, Brother Gary. He lost his life. Sister Winbush, you lost ten, two of your sons. Praying for you, the Winbush family. Praying for Brother Josh up there at the Shepherd Center. Praying for you. Praying for the Hill family. Praying for the Farmer family. Well, so many they have lost their lives. But God is still good. God is still worthy. Those of our members, we don't even know you're sick and shed in. Oh, Mother Plum, y'all don't tell we praying for her, heard, heard of her kind of illness there. So we want to be praying for her. Those that we haven't heard, Brother Frank, Brother Ann Turner, Sister Ann Turner, Sister Ann Turner, we want to be praying for you. Oh, yeah, 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 Deacon Rush. Oh, man, we, we talked with you, we know God. Sister Rush, praying for you all. But you'll let them know if they're not on Facebook, if they're not on YouTube, get in touch with them. Tell them we're praying for her. My cousin all the way in Florida, you tune in to us. Sister Cassandra, we pray for you. God bless you. Family in Pittsburgh, we're praying for all of you, knowing that God is not through. Listen, in this season, give him thanks. Get ready, for is God is not through blessing you. May God bless you. May God keep you. Pastor KG Bailey. Yourself, but don't cry, cause better days. 